Hey guys, Dan Heilman back with another Eternal Evolution video. Today I want to uh, do some smelting. I want to talk about the smelting system. Um, I've talked about it before and I said, I think it was like one week ago, last weekend on a stream, I said I exclusively use the smelt function um, and I think it's the strongest thing to do with extra gear. Um, and I had a lot of people message me on Discord saying, Dan, you're losing gear charms by using the smelt feature. Don't use it. You're losing XP. You should be putting everything into your gear, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, I'll say there's two ways to get rid of bad gear, right? The smelt system converts it into another piece of gear, and then you can also just feed gear to other gear. Um, let me just show you that real quick. If I am leveling up a piece of gear for whoever, say I want to... Uh, level up a uh helm um okay maybe some boots let's find a piece that i actually want to level up first let me uh maybe i'll go crit rate crit damage whatever okay let's just level up let's level up this one okay so if i hit forge i can always just put other gear into it so if you see i can always just put gear into it and eventually I'll have enough to level it up, okay? And there's no XP loss doing it this way. So if you take a piece that's fully leveled up, uh, for example, this one right here, you can see, boom, it'll take it directly to 16. There's no experience lost doing this. Um, so you can always do it that way. Now, the other method you do with your gear is you can also smelt it. And again, there's a very small amount of XP lost, and that's only you're losing basically one charm for each piece of gear you put in there. So you're lose if you smelt a piece of gear, you're losing five of these charms. Now, I will say, I have so many of these charms. I come in here every single day. I go into Disa. I purchase all of the max stamina, and I do at least 10 runs in Disa 15 every single day, which gives me 90 of these every single day. I have n absolutely no problem with gear XP, so I don't care if I lose a couple charms in the process. What I do care about is good gear, and that's why I think the smelt function is so important. I could not get any attack percent main gloves or helm on my account ever. I did not get a single piece. The only way I was able to get all of my attack pieces on every single hero, so that's Emma, that's Luke, that's all of these guys, the only way I was even able to get any of these pieces we're using the gear smelt feature. I got three attack helms and one attack glove using the smelt feature. I did not have a single, I was still using red attack helms in here. I was still using, um, I was still using something like this after weeks. So the only reason I was able to even do it is because of the smelt feature. Now, let me show you again. If you don't know, smelt feature unlocks after you beat chapter 20. So that's 2040. You have to beat that. And then you unlock the smelt feature, which is right behind me here. OK, uh, we're going to do some smelting on camera and I'm just going to talk about it for a little bit because I think it is an amazing system. I've never seen a system like this in a game, and I think it's one of the best. Um, I think it's one of the best systems ever. OK, so. There's two sets that I want to build um, for the four piece sets, and that is the gluttony and the healing sets. Um, I think they're really strong. The healing set is going to be really strong on Serena and on Masrani and on Lee Rand, those three healers. You're always going to want a healing set on them. Um, and the gluttony set is really good for someone like Emma to get her in an attack set. Um, so let's mess around. Let's try to get a gluttony set. I have a good, good couple of gluttony pieces. Now, what I do is I choose the gluttony set. Now, you can only turn in four piece sets for four piece sets, and you can only turn in two piece sets for two piece sets. So that's how this works. Uh, so all the four piece sets are from the altar. So you can only get them there and you can only trade them in here to get other altar pieces, okay? But if I have stuff um, in here, like I might save that, uh, flat defense. I'm never gonna use a flat defense piece on the bottom three pieces ever in my life. It's just never gonna happen. So I can get rid of these without really thinking about it. Um, Herald set is whatever. I normally get rid of that one, but I do have a Hercules now at Immortal. So I'm trying to keep at least one set for that. This is pretty awful, um, but abend Abundant set is really good. So I'm going to keep that one. Damage reduction, crit damage reduction, kind of a PvP piece, but I will keep that one. Um, this piece is okay because it has some HP and it is a light gap set which you can actually use on res res is a good person for this so i will save that one um 
This one's unfortunate because it's an abundant set, which is a healing set, but it got attack, crit rate, defense. If I roll HP percent in the last one, I might potentially use this on a healer um, because then I'll have HP and defense. So I will keep that one. Uh, crit damage reduction helm on a shield strength set. I don't think I'll keep this one because um, I already have an HP percent one in this exact slot. I'm pretty sure if I go down here. I guess not. Oh, I guess I must have legs for it. I swear I had a piece for that one. Anyways, I'm not a huge fan of crit damage reduction. It's PvP only. And when you're trying to buff your shield strength, you want HP percent here because that buffs your shield strength. So I don't care about that one. Another de flat defense. I don't care about flat defense. Okay, so there we go. We got five. We're going to turn it in for a gluttony set. And hopefully... I can get like some attack gloves or something. Actually, let me check. Is this, uh, see, this is unfortunate that it's flat attack and not uh, percent attack. But okay, so we're gonna smelt those in. We'll see what we get. Okay, we got a gluttony weapon. Let's see what it is. Oh, it actually turned out pretty solid. Um, this is actually a really nice piece. Crit damage, defense, crit rate. This is a piece that you would put on someone like Artis. Artis, um, if you want him to deal damage, you're going to want a gluttony set, and you do want defense because defense scales the damage. Um, so I think this is actually going to be a good piece. So actually, that was pretty solid. I'll take it. Um, all right, let's go through and let's try to get rid of some other stuff here. Uh, crit damage reduction, don't care. Flat defense, I don't care. HP, see, this is a really good piece um, because you want to increase the shield strength, and HP increases shield strength. So that's a great piece. We're going to keep that piece. This one is borderline. Um, it's an abundant piece, which is hard to get. It does have at least flat HP, which scales healing for most healers, and it has an HP percent. So I will keep that one, even though it's a flat set. I wouldn't normally keep a piece like that. This one is pretty bad. It's a flat attack, and then it has nothing damage stats in there, okay? So we're going to get rid of that one. Um, let's see the worst out of these three. This one has crit damage reduction, attack, and accuracy, which is kind of useless. Um, I will lock this piece because I want to keep that one. So this one's kind of useless. This is probably the best piece out of it because at least it has an HP percentage roll. Um, so we're going to get rid of that one, and I think we'll get rid of this one as well. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. We'll just leave the one here. Actually, we're not. We're, we're going to leave these two. I I'm going to check the third roll on these and see if any of these are good. Um, so we're going to stop crafting the four-piece sets, and now let's move over to other sets now as i was saying earlier it was impossible for me to gear my luke emma and my skewer they all require attack percent gear with attack sets the only way i was even even able to gear them with those sets was literally just by using this set this system here and crafting it now let me just make sure i still need i think i still need on uh, skewer do i have all yeah, see, I'm still using a defense set here because I don't have an attack percent main. Defense is kind of okay um, for Skur just because it does carry over to um, her summon. But let me go look at Luke as well. Where's my Luke right here? Luke, I did actually finally get the attack percent. Okay, so maybe I'm at a point where I don't need to get the attack percent anymore. Um, I could also go for stuff like crit damage. I'm a big fan of the crit damage set. I think the crit damage set is very nice. Um, so maybe I'll, I will craft some crit damage sets and we'll see if we get anything good from the system here. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a set. I'm gonna go crit damage, which is the overload set. I'm gonna hit select and then I'm gonna get rid of anything that I would not normally use. So we'll just go through here from the beginning. Um, damage reduction HP, I might keep that. Uh, defense accuracy, crit damage reduction. I don't care about that. Defense HP accuracy on a attack set not really going to use that one roll of crit rate so we could potentially get other ones actually another thing that i can do is i can actually just go all the way to the bottom and i can start from pieces that are already rolled up so these are some of the pieces that have been failed pieces um that i've rolled up and i'm like all right what am i going to do with this i got flat attack one roll of crit damage uh one roll of crit rate one roll of crit rate you know what i mean so i'm getting all these ones that are are not very good um, HP accuracy attack. When am I going to ever going to use that? Uh, one roll of crit damage. When am I going to use that? One roll of attack. When am I going to use that? Uh, damage reduction defense. When am I going to use a tanky piece on a crit damage piece? You know what I mean? So I'm going to start getting rid of some of these that I already tried rolling up and they ended up being bad. 
Um, crit rate, damage reduction, like this one. This one's awful. It has nothing. It has damage reduction, and that's it. it has nothing else. We can get rid of that one. Now let's hit smelt. Let's see if we get something good. It's definitely a little bit of a gamble when you're doing this, but boom, look at that. Crit rate main stat, crit damage set. Very usable, really good piece. I turned in five garbage pieces and I got something that I could actually use on my account. So, yeah, I've, I've been a huge fan of this system. I've never seen it in any other games um, and I just think it's a really fun system. I think it's really good to use. Another thing I do is I get rid of all these sets that I don't care about. Um, I do keep HP percent gloves and helms and boots because I find they're very hard to get. So I do keep those no matter what set it is. Um, however, these other sets, an accuracy set. Accuracy is useless in this game, so I'm going to get rid of the accuracy set. Um, this one doesn't have anything amazing. It's a resist set. Um, I'm not going to use that. Again, a resist set has crit damage main, but, you know, whatever. We're not going to use that. Here's flat stats, okay? Boom, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to smelt. Look at that. HP. It was close. If this was attack percent, I'd be using that piece all day long. Uh, another thing you can do is you can go into gloves and you can search for stats. And you can say, I want anything that's flat stats. Hit confirm. And you can see I can just get rid of all of this because I don't ever want flat stats for any of these pieces. Then I can go to Helm. I can get rid of these without even looking at them because I don't care about a flat attack piece, right? I just don't, I'm never going to use that ever in my life. So I can automatically get rid of those and boom, look at that piece. That's a huge piece. Attack percent with crit damage. I could even roll another attack percent or I'm sorry, not attack percent. I could roll another crit rate roll on there or something else is very useful. Amazing piece. I, I gave away a couple pieces of flat stats and I got this beautiful attack main piece with a crit damage roll. Awesome. Very awesome, okay? So we can go through there and we can continue doing this. Um, we can go through legs and I can say, all right, do we have any legs that have, I don't know, two flat stats on them? Okay, look at this piece. It's all flat stats. The only reason I would potentially keep this is there's a chance that I could roll attack percent here and then I could roll all the rest of the rolls into the attack percent and then it'd be a useful piece. So I won't get rid of that one, but a resist set, hell yeah, I'll get rid of that. I don't care about resist set. I care nothing about resist. Any of those other sets, um, resist set, accuracy set, don't care about it. Damage reduction with two flat stats, don't care. HP with crit rate, don't care. Let's get rid of all that. Let's see what we get. Flat. Okay, so that one goes straight back into the blender. I can literally go back here. I can, I can take this piece. Oh, not that one. I can take this piece with the flat stats. I can put it right back in the blender and get rid of it again, right? And re-roll it into a new piece. Damage reduction and defense. I will keep that. I like damage reduction boots, uh, even in a bad set. Now, defense with damage reduction in an accuracy set? No, I don't care. HP damage reduction. I will keep that one um, just because the stats are really good. Um, defense main with damage reduction. That's a weird piece, but we're going to keep that locked anyways. Attack percent. Again, I don't care. The stat, the substats are bad and the set is bad. Let's go over here. Let's finish it off. Uh, crit damage reduction. I hate that stat. That one's going away. Attack percent with three flat percent or three flat rolls on a bad set. I will get rid of that attack percent. I don't normally get rid of attack percent mains, but I will get rid of that one because that one's pretty bad. And here we go. We'll try our luck again. Look at that. Beautiful crit damage set, crit rate main set, crit damage substat. Beautiful. I love that piece. That was a huge upgrade. Okay. That's going to be it for the video. I think I got you guys a good example of what I've been doing. I spend a lot of time in the smelter. I spend hours in here, um, you know, once a week, and I go through all my gear. I get rid of all the bad gear, and I re-roll it into new gear. And that is literally how I've been able to gear Emma. This piece is from the smelter. This piece is from the smelter as well. This piece took me forever to get. I could not find attack percent main. It took me forever to find this, and it rolled great. Two rolls into HP, one roll into crit. Totally fine for Emma. Um, I couldn't get that piece otherwise. Same thing for Luke. I had literally all red gear on him. I got this from the smelter here, and I got this from the smelter. And then the very last example is my skewer. Um, I got this piece from the smelter as well. I have not been able to get those attack percent mains for all of my heroes. The smelter made that possible. 
really a cool system. I'm a huge fan of it. Uh, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like and sub. Um, I just wanted to stress the importance of gear smelting. It's how I've been getting most of my upgrades in the game. Because um, you can choose the set, and that gives you a lot higher chance to get the piece you're actually looking for. Uh, I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, go down there, hit the like and the sub button. Uh, thanks so much for the support. Hope you guys are enjoying the game as much as I am. And have a great day, everyone. See you guys.